Who's your favorite pit master's favorite pit master? Hey, what's going on, Tremendous Q fans? It's your boy here, Wade Morris, owner of Pitmaster Tremendous Q. And today I am back with probably the coolest video to hit the channel in a very long time, okay? Now, I got to thank my Canadian buddies, my North American buddies. It was Team North America that kind of helped put this video together, all right? So courtesy of them, we got to give them a quick round of applause, all right? You'll see them throughout the video. But first, you know, I got to thank everybody for stopping by. So if you're new to the channel, go ahead and smash the subscribe button, cut on those notifications so you can get notified when I drop all my latest content. All my returning subscribers, you know I appreciate you guys' support, all right? So we're gonna be doing this in two parts, okay? So in part one, I'm gonna do a walkthrough of the grill, I'm gonna do an intro and a quick sound bite with myself, the owners, and then my Canadian buddy that made the recommendation to me to come over and shoot the footage for, for these videos, okay? So let's jump right into that video the walkthrough and then the sound bites of the old field grill all right and you guys make sure you stick around because in part two we're going to be going through the cook process so let's jump right into this first part the old fear so i had to do a little bit of research uh you know i had to get my my nerd on uh love barbecue but i love everything about it too even even looking up things about it how it works etc etc so i hopped onto the ophir website just ophir.com and i looked at all the different accessories and all the different setups that you can use on this thing right uh, the accessory you see me putting on in the video now is actually the wooden ring and this detaches for storage basically it helps to prevent the weathering of the wing, uh, weathering of the wood ring all right so you can set food on this ring you can set your drinks on this ring you can set your libations right the most important thing for for a good barbecue you can set those on the ring as well and it attaches by twisting a lever and then tightening it to the bottom of the plancha or the ophir so as you can see i'm gonna take the lid off it's basically a plancha style grill okay this is where your wood is going to go your heat source while you are cooking now according to the website they have a couple of different mod models or sizes one is 85 centimeters that is good for six to 12 people and the other is 100 centimeters that is good for up to 10 to 16 people okay now what makes the ophir special what makes this thing great uh, bottom line it's the versatility of it it's a showpiece because of the way that it is set up it you can actually it, it invites everybody at the party to stand around and including the cook everybody is a part of the conversation everybody is a part of the party right where normally the person cooking is usually set off to the side somewhere so that the smoke is not interfering with anybody or the way that it's constructed there's only one side to really uh, access the grill well with the ophir it's circular so everybody can stand around the fire everybody can cook on their own if they want to or the person that's cooking can be a part of the conversation that's what makes this thing versatile okay now to get it set up as you can see we're using our traditional wood we're going to use some of the hay starters and then we're going to add kindling on top of all of that and it's going to take just like setting up a regular campfire it's going to take a, about an hour, hour and a half is for this wood to burn down to coals and get the whole plancha heated up, okay? Now, not super complicated. We got basically a cabin style setup for the wood. You put the kindling on top of on top of those and then your larger pieces on top of your kindling and you're off to the races, okay? Now, back to the website, there's actually a couple of different bases that you can set the Ophir on top of. The one pictured in this video is the storage base, which has a cutout for you to store your wood so that you don't have to walk away from it. Then there's just the regular block base as well, okay? Now, let's do a real quick cutout. Let's talk to the owner of the Ophir and find out how it is that or why it is that they picked up this particular grill. All right, you guys, so I'm back with another break. I wanna thank uh, the owners of this awesome grill for for basically accepting the invitation for my colleague uh, for inviting us over. So I'm here with Tonya. She owns this 
beautiful. I wish I could show you guys the full estate. Like this house is beautiful, okay? Um, but we're here to talk about the grill. It's a barbecue channel. So what I want to ask Tonya is, what? why the Ophir? Why this grill? We had never actually seen an Ophir before. We knew about plancha barbecuing yep. and that that idea, yep. or maybe that movement, but we had never actually seen an Ophir and we were shopping for a stove <laughs> in this kitchen shop. And in the entrance, they had this amazing setup of the Ophir and the table. Okay. And so I asked the vendor and he said, you know what, we're actually getting out of selling them. And I thought, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah, right that, that, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> and uh, so that was it. Okay. Um, it was Bruce's birthday a week later, and so. Ah, that's the trick. Oh, here. Okay. So now, okay. we've now, of course, watched a lot of the Ophir videos, yes. and it's really spectacular. And there are a lot of additional pieces that you can get components yes. and things like the sword, the chirusadia, yep, and yep. all of those. So that's a lot of fun, too. Yeah, I saw. So Darcy sent me a couple of the uh, Ophir videos, and I was admittedly at work, and <laughs> I was supposed to only watch like three or four minute video, and like an hour and a half later, I just I could not stop watching like this. This grill is awesome. Like you said, the versatility of it, the utility of it, and then the fact that you can just get everybody around, grab a beer, have a drink. So, so yeah, I think you made an awesome purchase, and I now know the trick. So around my birthday, I'm gonna hit the wife up. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I, was it, like, yeah. I was like, hey, babe. <laughs> Let me show you the door. So awesome. That's a lot of fun. So what is your particular favorite thing about this grill? I like that it brings people together, okay. as you mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yep. it, it's really an event to use it because I think if for just the two of us, we probably wouldn't light it up exactly. consistently. Exactly. But when we know people are coming over, it's it's a showpiece, exactly. it's fun, and, exactly. and it's, it's just neat. And you can do everything from like a vegetarian side or if you have vegan friends. So yep. we've done, I love to do mushrooms on there. And, and then Bruce will do like a meat side. So yep. if, if you need to have something that doesn't touch, that's yeah, yeah. particular. Yeah. So it's it so, such a big cooking space that it's really easy to use. Yeah, very versatile and I violently agree. I think that's the one thing I like about barbecue in general is the fact that it brings a lot of people together where otherwise you don't have one or two. So well, I really appreciate you guys letting me come over. I appreciate you guys letting me film. Uh, this grill is awesome. And uh, babe, I, I I think we know what grill number is this seven or eight is going to be. So, <laughs> well, thank you guys. I appreciate it. My pleasure. It. Thank you. All right, so that was an awesome video with, with Tonya. And you can see uh, while we were doing that, the fire is fully underway, all right? The the wood is burning. We got our our coals are starting to form and uh, the the affairs getting set up. People are actually starting to show up for the barbecue. And uh, with a little bit of movie magic, we're gonna fast forward about 45-ish minutes, okay? Our wood is pretty much turned to coals. Uh, we're going to get ready to get it situated. But before I do that, I have to do another cutaway, all right? This time with the individual who invited me over, whose idea it was for this video. Hey, what's going on, Tremendous Q fans? So I want to take a quick break in the video and introduce one of my coworkers that introduced another friend uh, uh, and this this awesome grill that is featured here in the video today. So um, basically, I'm going to turn the floor over to Darcy, my my colleague from, from office here at NATO, and uh, basically talk to him a little bit about his first time experience here uh, on this on this particular grill and why he decided to invite me. All right, so uh, first time I uh, tried this grill, uh, one of the real things I, I noted and, and really, really liked about it was the ease of management. You can manage many different types of meats uh, going around uh, on the on the grill and on the offer, uh, from pork to lamb to uh, beef and, and also all your veggies all at the same time. Really, really liked it. It was great. So the first time you came over, you cooked on it. The second time, I heard you were the man. You were the yeah, pit master. Yeah, yeah, I was the pit master for the second time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's uh, no, it's a, a great grill. Uh, easy to easy to manage. Uh, you can put lots of uh, lots of different meats on it. Yep. Uh, and it's always that straight fire. Awesome, awesome. Well, I appreciate it, man. Thanks for the invitation, and uh, I'm sure the fans are really gonna appreciate this video. So appreciate it, bro. Awesome. All right. Thanks for that, Darcy. So. As you guys can see, this is one of the other 
pieces or things about this grill that I really like. With that little scraper, it is one of the it makes one of the easiest cleanups that I've seen on any particular grill, especially when you guys saw my last video, the how much elbow grease it takes to keep a grill great clean, right? So you scrape everything into the fire pit, easy peasy, you're done with your cleanup. Alright. Now we got the wood on and we are pretty much ready to cook. The next thing that we're gonna do is grease this plancha and we're going to be using some duck fat all right duck fat in french anyway so we're going to go ahead and take the paper towel and we're just going to very generously coat the outside of the plancha or the top of the plancha just the plancha not the actual wooden ring but the plancha where we're going to be setting our proteins and setting our vegetables so that they don't end up sticking and causing a really big mess, burning to the plancha, and then we end up having a whole bunch of charred food that is stuck to this grill and making it for a little bit more cleanup, all right? And with that, we are pretty much ready to cook, all right? We're gonna add this top grate, and then I'm gonna show you guys a preview of what's coming next week, okay? So if you made it this far in the video, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe, all right? And cut on those notifications so you know, get notified when I drop part two of this series, The Old Fear, all right? See you on the next video. Peace.